Hey folks, this is IOE3 and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Extreme Unicorn Warfare. Tier 8 game on Erlenberg. Um, this is the Tier 8 Polish Heavy Tank, the 53 TP. Um, decent angles on it, uh, weak overall armor, but if you can get them to shoot your turret or other places that are nice and round, you're likely to start bouncing things. Uh, also, the stock gun is actually decent. It's like a T2, similar to the T32 stock um, upgrade gun. Top gun, of course, doing better stuff than that. Ooh. Um, anyway, so, ooh, he's running consumables. Spread with smack. Which I'm pretty sure it's like a fish byproduct thing. Somebody's gonna tell me I'm wrong, but anyways, um, I'm gonna pause this game right here before we actually get into it because this is an assault it should go really quick and painless but before that I need to back this up a little bit extreme has been hounding me to play this game um, and so I've been looking at it for a while um, and so it should be a really good one and now that I've teased that I need to go tease something else um, right now when when you're watching this I should be playing anthem over on Twitch. Um, assuming you're watching this about the same time it comes out. Anyway, um, I got my hands on demo copy. Thanks to one of my awesome patrons. If you want to go and give all my patrons hype, do so. Uh, if the specific patron who got his hands on this for me wants to give himself a shout out, he can in the comments, but I don't know if he wants the attention or not. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to be streaming this. Uh, there's going to be clips going up on YouTube later on. Some of the funniest, some of the worst, some of the, you know, awesomest times and stuff. If you're into the game Anthem, you want to see what's going on with it. Uh, you want to see what it actually is because so far it's just seeing, like, little snippets. And there hasn't been act any actual really solid gameplay up until today. So I'm really hyped about it. And uh, I'm going to be playing it most of the day today. And as much as I possibly can tomorrow. And then the demo ends after that. So I got to get all my playtime in now. And we'll go from there. And so yeah. If you're as excited about that as I am. Please come join me over on Twitch. Um, ooh, an IS-6. Just wandering through the countryside. <laughs> okay. I mean. It's... Why? <laughs> if you're in a medium tank or a light tank, I mean, I get cutting that corner right there because you're fast enough. You can get out in front of the enemies. You're probably going to make it. But doing that in a heavy tank, you ain't going to make it. I like this position. Uh, he's effectively held down. Unfortunately, it's a great for artillery to be able to hit him. But he's effectively hauled down with only his gun sticking at the window. Uh, he's decided this is not the place for him to be. And the fact that it's screwed over. I'm sorry for any yawning and stuff that happens. Um, because of the fact that I have the day off. And I want to be streaming Anthem all day. I have gotten up super early <laughs> in the morning. And <laughs> as a, this is the only time I'm going to have to record. And so there might be some yawning because I haven't had my morning coffee yet. I haven't actually had breakfast yet. It's just how determined I am and how um, how much I feel I need to record for you guys. Um, and now that it occurs to me I haven't had breakfast, I'm suddenly hungry. <laughs> you know, things that happen. Um, so he's harassing this poor T-29 who's for some reason continually showing us his hull. Um, I mean, this... The C-29 is a tank that can be completely hauled down on a slope like that. But he just keeps coming up far enough that we can see his hull. So of course we're going to shoot it. Why wouldn't we? Why is there a T-29 showing us this hull? I assume he wants to die. Uh, seems like a Churchill 7 pushing up on us. This is a tier 8 tank that you know is formidable. Why would you push up on it in, a, in that thing? I mean, maybe you wanted to go back to the barrage early. I don't think so, somehow. I mean, if you wanted to go back to the barrage early, he'd be driving, driving an OI and pushing up the mill. Oh! See that target? Um, 
targeting. He was gonna shoot for the tracks, realized there's no point. Uh, even if I go through it, I'm just gonna, whatever, right? Whereas, he has a great side shot through the, the, the flattened armor of that, um, that turret there. Oh, beautiful shot. And then, so he picks up the, the Burt for nothing because her is a really far up. I don't know why he's this far up. Uh, I understand that ha has short range. And he has to be a bit, little bit far, farther forward in order to make good on that range. Uh, however, with T29, have you not learned your lessons? Apparently not. Um, apparently he needs to learn them one more time. Anyway, so with, I mean, there's so many of our tanks that are up far enough that the bird didn't need to be there. He could have been back here, perfectly safe and sound, and still raining shells down all the, on all these guys. But no, he had to push forward down the heavy tank path and then <laughs> get himself shot. I mean, we're okay with that because really, why wouldn't we be a kill is a kill is a kill, especially when you're taking a Burt out of the game. Burt is not someone you want in the game for more than 30 to 40 seconds. And even then, only until you can shoot them, you don't want them shooting you. Because the worst thing about them is when they blow your tracks off and then they blow your tracks off again and then they blow your tracks off again. And then they blow your engine out, and you're just like, hmm, I don't like you. <laughs> right? <laughs> and no, I don't think there's any point in talking about the gameplay that's going on right now. It's just a slaughtering a bunch of tier sixes that have no way to defend themselves. And Extreme has got to be having a, like a ton of fun right now. I would be. I would be just like over committing myself and just like running in places I shouldn't be and just I mean that's the thing about having tier eights in <laughs> in a battle like this is they can pretty much do what they want to do now uh, he's trying to tell our scout where the artillery is I don't think our scout is listening uh, also note he has fired so many shots by this point in the game with <laughs> 4,000 damage that he's down to no more standard ammo left. He's got two HE rounds. But those are not really anything to talk about. <laughs> okay. Oh! The first real miss of the game. Um, I'm not sure if, certain if he missed a shot before that. But that flew just high and wide. Oh, Lord. I mean, that guy must have got a haircut from that shell passing so close to him. But, um... I love how he doesn't swing the tank around, he just swings the gun around to point at the um, arrow because of the fact that A, he's got gold loaded at this point in time because he doesn't have anything else to fire and because this, look however this gun is high anyway at 122 millimeters, he can just punch through the, even the front of the ARL turret um, but he's really more worried about killing this IS-6 which obviously he ought to be but apparently the uh, the rest of the team can't bring down one lone ARL anyway, so let's go and <laughs> finish off the IS-6, which is the important kill. Grab our Rowdy Walters and then walk across this bridge as if nothing's going to stop us. And we'll go find that ARL and uh, we'll punish him for the rest of the team because apparently they can't find him. Ah, they can't find him because he ran away. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense, but um, there's not much you can do with 30 health, right? Now, the Ferdinand is going to be a bit more of an issue, but not if he doesn't uh, aim. Oh, as we bounce off the Freddy, he bounces off us. Freddy's going to push up a little more. Freddy actually finds some nice hold down cover behind the ARL, and that's going to make this next few shots a little trickier. Um, so you see the reticle says it's green. Ah, look, somebody has finally hunted down the artillery. And we no longer have... <laughs> we no longer have backup. But we know the Freddy is fired, so using the mobility of the tank, which it has actually decent mobility, we can actually get around behind the poor Freddy. We're going to let the P-43 fire one more time. We're going to let the P-4... Nope, P43 is not going to take. Oh, 
Look at that. Come on, P43. Take the shot. Nope. Fine. Now the P43 is going to take the kill. P4, P4. Thank you. I guess. Okay, so pools, metals on the line. We know the last time the E8 was spotted was down here. Okay. We know that our team is... <laughs> as far as uh, being willing to pull the trigger. We are one kill away from pools. Well, we have six rounds left. And we have a decently fast tank. Okay. Hands up. Who thinks he can do it? Let's see if he can do it. Uh, we're going to fast forward this a little bit because it could be some time. Now, we have 40 seconds to get this done because the rest... We have a minute and 30 seconds to get this done because this is assault. And if the A8 survives... Oh, well, that's probably going to be in the end of that. I expect the Roomba to pick up the spare any second now. And this will be one game that's just unfortunately disappointing because there's no way we get to yeah the eight before the Roomba kills him. Ah, uh, so the P43, all he had to do was shoot the Freddy once in the side, which it was more than enough time for him to do, and this would have been a fool's medal game. But no, the P43 wanted his first kill. Which I can't fault him for. And then, what was it? The OI that took out the, uh... <laughs> the T-71. Which must have been painful for that poor T-71. I didn't even see how much health he was on. But uh, I'm betting he was on more than a little bit. And the one he shell ruined his dreams. Unfortunately, though, Extreme has played an amazing game. And it's not going to be enough because just shy of his 10th kill, the game ends. Ah, uh, sucks. Let's go see what he got for this, though. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Uh, first, or er, ace tanker, sorry. Bruiser, fire for effect, shell proof. Eight bonds, Rowdy Walters, steel wall, high caliber, and top gun. Wow. Um, actually, I didn't realize when I was setting this up, there's more tanks down here. So he got shot up by the M4. Wasn't this ROI? Was that T71 close enough to us? When he died, that the splash damage from the OI impacted us? I wasn't paying attention to that. Wow. I mean, interesting if it was. Wow, right? <laughs> Look at this. This makes me want to cry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, 96 damage on a Borsig. For two kills. Yeah. <laughs> Borsig is halfway up the team. <laughs> Two kills. Ha! <laughs> right? Oh, uh, Puzo, so close. Yet so far. This was a great game. Thank you so much, Extreme, for saying it in. Thank you all for watching. And go check out Anthem. Um, my gameplay is on to over on Twitch. Link in the description uh, if you want to go check that out. Um, also, over on Twitch, because I haven't advertised it here, there's a link for my new uh, Teespring campaigns. If you want to actually get your hands on one of these shirts, you can. 50% of the proceeds go to uh, Extra... Uh, yeah, Extra Life. Uh, char charity. And one last thing to note is... I know there was something. What was it? No, oh, can't be that important, right? So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This IOE threat. <laughs>